Hey, welcome back, guys. It's your boy, Deco Graphics. Right now, we show you how you can make a catch up business logo on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. And I'm going to teach you step by step on how you can present this logo on a wooden markup. As all know that a wooden markup is one of the toughest uh, markup to use on Android smartphone. So I've came up with the uh, ideas on how you can run this markup on your uh, smartphone even if you are using a 3 gig or 4 gig RAM phone because I'm actually going to uh, teach you on uh, using the 4 gig RAM phone so without wasting so much of our time let's get started so the first thing I need to do is to go and bring all the layers which I already have on my phone so take you for instance I have all those layers one after the other and this is the first one I have to uh, position this around there then go to the relative position to centralize it so leave a, uh, a space a little bit around there turn on your grid and make sure that uh, everything is actually centralized go there back then you bring up this uh, you can increase this a little bit to uh, make it uh, obvious why you bring this one here then you position this around there so shift it up a little bit let it be a uh, target around uh, this particular area so now it seems to be cool like that so once this was being done then the next thing we need to do is to put in uh, the brand name so we have a tibam culture tibam culture so we'll go to the font area we use a leaks pattern font for that Sparta. Then we'll position that around there. Okay, then we can adjust that a little bit. So let's space it a little bit while we we'll centralize. And we are manually, we are going to manually adjust that. So after that, we we'll go to the shape like this. When you select this rectangle shape, you go to the opacity zero then let your stroke to something like eight or nine then you position that around there once you position it then centralize which shows that uh, it should be around there we centralize this as well everything seems to be cool okay after that has been done we we'll go in there and put uh, our services so we have our services then we'll go to the font area change the one change this one to Ari blue font then that will be positioned around here increasing the size a little bit then reposition very well okay cool now you can have the color being changed so to be on silver side change all the color to black then we'll go to the services which i have everything been listed so i have something of this nature the services I'll go to the text area, then we select a font color, Motizera, Motizera, okay. I'll reduce the size, just as perfect as this. Then go to the align and align to the center. Reposition that around here could be the best. So go in there and you space it enough. Line spacing between the text as well. Then we'll go to the stroke apply a stroke a bit so go to the color change the color could be the best so let's go to the stroke let the stroke to be something like one could give us the best as we want so I think in this can be increased a little bit or we'll try to adjust and make everything minimal uh, under this. Maybe that could be cool. Then we can increase the size a little bit around this area. 
So position it just as perfect as this. So we can go in there to the tax area where we have the phone number. It's one one six two six four one seven zero. Okay, then we we'll click OK. So position that around here, then you get the social media icon to support that. So we'll go in there, we have what we we'll call it T Bank Catcher. T Bank Catcher. composition that around there then we check in for the social media icon so we'll reduce this to a bare minimal level go to the stroke and your hard one position it around there then centralize bring it down a bit okay very cool okay one dust has been done then we'll go in there bring the second one position it here when you do that we'll go to the stroke then apply that and uh, we'll have a space to fill it okay perfect now that everything is set we go into transparent background where we are going to position everything now under seven minutes we are able to come up with this perfect now we'll go to our chrome browser where we are going to reload everything sorry reload everything to photo pay this is a photo pay interface www.photopay.com that is the website when it opened is the interface we have the panel here and we have the shortcut icon at the left hand side at the middle part here this is what we call a working area you have what we call a new project at the top if you want to uh, start and make your design from the scratch we have open from computer if you have a template or any other uh, objects that you want to import we have what we call a template which is already built to this website. We are choosing the middle option which is open from computer. Okay. So if the tab is not responding, we can reload. Okay. So reload it. Then you tap again from the middle. So now we access. This is the wooden marker which you are going to use. So you can see loading. Then you have to exercise patient. Because the wooden marker take a little seconds before it will display and before it will process your logo and transform it to a wooden one. So I will go you out to polish and how you can remove all the unwanted uh, color behind, I mean, around this particular logo after the, uh, the process. So while we're waiting, I will drop the link to this markup at the description of this uh, uh, of video you ensure you make sure that uh, you feel free to get them now tap on the layer and you, you see your logo here double tap it then replace me hide the icon beside it as sex where you have your file open and place is where you are going to click and you access your gallery locate the design we just made using our pc app now so after tapping on it then you wait for it to load after loading it automatically plays on top of this uh, uh, background i mean the transparent background access your file and tab see with smart object then nothing will seem to be click don't worry be looking at the screen of your phone what i'm saying is that when you tap it might look like nothing respond be waiting it will tell you smart object updated when you see that when it means your design are transformed to a smart object now tap here on the 3d wall because that is what you are looking for so once you see smart object of data you tap here then be looking at the screen of your phone in no time it will transform to wooden markup i mean to the wooden when it's 
transform to wooden logo then we can proceed with other editing So as I was saying, make sure you extract this marker before use using your Z archiver. It's the same process the way we extract our fonts. And if you have issue or you want to learn photo P further, apart from using it to markup, I use it to design. Many people do ask, do you use Photoshop? I don't. I use this uh, photo P. You can enroll and learn more or now you can utilize this particular application excellently and you see your design being changed and you will realize that value will be added more to your skills after that close the window you tap on the layer here so let me show you quickly show you something let me zoom it out when you look at it there's difference between amateur and a designer professional designer when you look at this amateur will absolutely leave this the way it was but this is not right anyway you see some reddish uh around this particular design which is not okay mix the color together i want it to be wooden light one that will captivate and call for attention in order to do this tap on the layer then you have what we call an extraction tap on the downward arrow there then the first one here this one that is blinking just hide the eye icon beside it then check everything is clean is this not amazing you see the difference so after that tap on the file click on export tap on the png once or twice be looking at the screen to take you to the window where you are going to save and this is the window tap on save it will ask you to watch a short ad before you can proceed click on ok then you wait because the heart might be pop up and at time the heart might cease to be pop up you don't need to worry okay remember you are working on the website you need to tap again and you reclick until because at time the website might not responding and it could be the network of your phone if you can continue clicking like that and it will not respond it's no cause for alarm you continue doing this because this is just a new update on this particular website and if you want to get rid of that uh, you can actually subscribe to it i subscribe to it but i decided to off it for now why because if i do that it automatically download and when you are experiencing this you might be worried the outcome that my own is not showing that and that is the reason why i normally show you what exactly you are going to experience uh, and what you are exa what exactly you are going to come across so getting this now you can say we we'll have this at time you click it and it automatically take you to where you are you want and at time it to continue loading okay so instead of that you still continue the process so let's tap this time around let's see so it's good for majority of us so what i normally do is to half my network then after of the network, I will turn it on again, then close, I will back again, then go to the file, export as, you can see, then export as PNG, saved, let's see, you can continue running it that way, and it should not save, you should not worry, it's not your phone that get problem, the website might be malfunctioning, I might not respond at some time, remember, it's a website not an application so you should still continue doing it and if not done that way you can just re redo, redo it again by just minimizing that particular aspect okay minimize that particular aspect click on your photo p okay then we are going to reload and uh, Reselect just reload this. Why that is being reload? You can say so. This is the previous one, so which means it's connected. 
So let's quickly reload it. I mean, rerun it and say. So I told you at time the website normally man functioning. There shouldn't be any cause for alarm. Okay. So now let wait. It won't take you more than two or three seconds. I mean, minutes to run it. So since we understood the previous process, uh, we don't need to waste much of our time explaining. We are going to go straight to the point. Okay. So let me waiting. Okay, remember to tap here, be looking at the screen. Now we're waiting. Now it's display already. Just go to the layer instruction. I the first one back go to far so go to export as PNG open to get the bus result this time so taking me to the window server then you click OK you can see it will work perfect so now it will download automatically at the tab so don't say when you try first time and you don't get the results, it means that it's not working no. So you can close and redo it again. You understand? You get the accurate result. I believe we'll learn something from this. Thank for watching. God bless you.